want us to see if your interest on location, still on location, feels like it doesn't feel like forever. <laughs> actually feels pretty good. This time yeah. is moving by fast. I'm having so much fun here at the Force USA headquarters in Draper, Utah. Dan is very kind to, yeah. you know, do you have fun answering emails? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But this is a little bit more fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Hands on is a little more fun okay. in front of the so computer. Okay. So we sure. don't want to hold him back from answering support yeah. emails, but thank you again yeah. for doing this. Absolutely. We have the Monster G6 here. This is something in the series of videos on the G series for Force USA that I really wanted to record this video because we talked yeah. about the G12 commercial, G9 commercial. We even looked at the G3 a little bit to kind of see where those all kind of line up. But this one is kind of near and dear to my heart, kind of it like is. the Myrac. It is. Because yeah. I actually have this in my home gym. Yeah, you have the 2018. So I do. So I'm curious to, to see and kind of check it out, see what's different and see how you know, because yeah. my, my G6 isn't like ready to be thrown out. I mean, it's gonna, it's a tank. It's yeah, gonna last a lifetime. Last forever, for sure. Yeah, exactly. But as time moves on, and especially in uh, a fitness studio situation or the way you wanna make money, some of these upgrades or design changes or space changes to maximize your space could be worthy of an upgrade. For sure, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so the, G, the G6 is upgraded a little bit um, from the other one. We changed the color. Changed the height. Um, it's now 91 inches, which is a little taller um, for those who have, who are tall and they want to be able to do the pull-ups and have more movement there. Um, it's still going to be the 72 wide, and then depth is a little different. It's about 63 inches. Yeah, and the depth really has to do with the legs that come out here. It and, is, and, yeah. And even though you kind of, you might not be able to see it in the main shot. I'm just going to explain. If you go back to my Force USA Monster G6 full review. Uh, those legs, I still kind of half trip over. Not a big deal, yeah. but the way the base was, it's more on like, say, a 30 degree angle out right. on these. And these are shorter and also straight out. So sure. you're already saving space on the front. So you have more space to do your deadlifts and other stuff like that outside exactly. the rack. Exactly. Yeah. We also, we wanted to include the legs so that you could also have this band pegs here that come with it. So you can use that on the outside of the rack too as well. Yeah, the band pegs are really important for variable resistance, especially recovering from an injury where I could literally just take the bar and I can squat and hook the bands over there. Or if you want a little bit different or you run out of bumper plates yeah. or plates, you can add the bands and add that resistance on that. Absolutely, yeah, so really cool. It is really cool. You just have to be really careful with the bands and the pan pegs. Just make sure they're in there, make sure they're tight, and you got enough tension. So for sure, I'm always lecturing people on that because <laughs> I got I got to remind myself. Yeah, so, yeah, safety first for sure. Let's let's go to the front here because I noticed some design changes, yeah. especially when it comes to uh, the holes here are a little bit different because you have yeah. basically the larger hole and then you have a smaller hole, which is actually what the functional trainer exactly. cable system goes uh -huh. into. It used to go into a slightly different angle on that. Did. So explain that because it feels like it's pretty sturdy but yeah once again space saving it is yeah yeah so what we were doing we changed the uprights a little bit you can tell that we we kind of made them the same as the g9 and the g12 we wanted to make it all uniform so that we could have all the attachments compatible with one another and that was a thing in the 2018 there was a lot exactly. of questions that people had i had them yeah uh leg press was the big one yes exactly. that was the big one they did so basically this uniform thing across the entire line makes sure that if you have a dip attachment, which is yep. the new dip handles, or you have something it, yes. like that, or even the J hooks. That everything is pretty much, if somebody decides to go from a G9 or a G6 to the G12 or, yep. or back, or have multiple ones in their facility, yep. they can just plug and play. Exactly, exactly. Cool. And just like you said, that leg press was really popular with the old G6, so the dip handle was really popular with the old G6. And instead of having people buy it separately, we decided to throw it all in one box. Very nice. So it comes with it. Yeah, I tell you what, though, the, the yeah. panels, I can't get over. I just, yeah, I, gotta, yeah. I gotta go to it. I gotta go to it right away. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go to it. I'm, I'm gonna go get them. You Perfect. show them this. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> here's, here's the dip panels. It's kind of like a J hook um, style here. So you would actually just slide it in. And go over. Or you can just do this and trip over everything yeah. <laughs> and come back on camera yeah. with this monster. So that one's really big. So we redesigned it. That way you can store it just easy like a J hook, you know, um, and you have two grip options here. And then because it's going to be going on the uprights, you have all the headroom in front of you when you're doing those dips. Yeah, great little thing. I, I just can't get over that. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really, really <laughs> those cool. Those are awesome. Yeah, so yeah. it's included with the G6. Yeah, very, very nice. So yeah, it's, thank you. it's just a nice way to store everything. So let's stay on the front here. Let's talk about the safety spotter arms because yep. that's something, 
And let's get let's get a closer look real quick because I want people to to know Great. that these are a little bit different than the other ones in the G line. They are, yes. All right, so after some uh, fancy editing, we're here at the safety spot. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So usually what happens is they go from the inside out. So you're they talking do. about the, the J hooks and other right. things, but right here you have from the outside in. Exactly, yeah. So the way we designed it, we wanted to make assembly a lot easier. I don't know if you remember assembling your old G6, but- I'll never forget it. Yeah, it probably took about six hours, right? It took two days. Yeah, it's a long process. So we really wanted to simplify the process. So this one will take you about four hours to assemble, cutting the time in, you know, which in means half. it takes you four hours to yeah. assemble when you have to <laughs> assemble it in here, right? Exactly, yeah. So in doing so, we changed the, where the cables go. So the cables go on the inside. Um, if you can't see that, they go on yeah, the inside here. Go all the way down here. Um, but we still want to be able to use the, the, the rack portion. And so doing that, we had them swivel outwards, but we added a pin like this. So when you're lifting, you don't have to worry about the, the arms going outward when you're lifting. It feels like the rubber, uh, like on the new J hooks and these things have been redesigned as well. They have, yeah. We, were, we uh, wanted to have the grip on there as well, but we also wanted it to be lasting and not damage your barbell. It's very nice. Just these little touches, even with the pattern of yeah. what you have here on the spotter arms and the J hook is really, really cool. Yeah, awesome. So on the front here, once again, you're talking mm -hmm. about like right there, it's from the out. So if you come from my G6 to G this G6, yeah. you actually have to reverse how you put J hooks on, how you put the safety spotter arms on, and of course, this little thing right here. But once again, it's smooth. Yep. It's very smooth. Even the handle, the handle's been redesigned on this too as well, right? It has, yeah, yeah. Just making it so it's more of a one hand motion. That's what I noticed big time. because it, exactly. it never stuck for me, but it always felt like I had to bring this up, balance it, yeah. and it had a nice little slide. This is a nice, track right there that yeah. goes there. Yeah, absolutely, very, I very cool. that for sure. So I wanna talk about right here, we have the handles, we have the holes like we talked about before, yep. but I noticed that I can handle this and slide it up and down with one hand as opposed to 2018. Absolutely, It yeah. just seemed like it wasn't heavy, but the way it was, it felt like I needed to kind of balance with both hands, bring it up and down, not a big exactly. deal. But this one, just one hand up and down yeah. like that, pretty cool. That, that was our goal, yeah. When you're in the middle of a workout, you don't wanna to have to fumble with things. So this is super easy to pull and move it wherever you need to for your next movement, for your next workout. I like that a lot. Um, also, very important on the cables, two to one or one to one? This is a two to one ratio. Um, okay. Our G9 and G12 are the one to one ratio, but we wanted to have a two to one ratio so that you can lift lighter on the stack. Nice, so that could be important to some people. So you're, you, you kept the element from the 2018 G6 exactly. for the two to one on that, but mm -hmm. still the spacing is good. And I said before, yep. the, the actual cabling was not as bad as everything else yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to do. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so even though it's a, a two to one ratio here, we, we added uh, 40 more pounds of weight on each stack than you would have on the G9 and G12. And then also there are the band peg holes down below. Um, that will help you with that as well. Nice, so let's take a close look at the stacks. So just to repeat, Dan, two to one ratio, these are the stacks that come with it. It's two sets of 221 pounds. Yep. Uh, I had the 11 pound interval on the pound side. Yep. I like the fact that you have kilos and pounds uh, with that. But like we said, if you're gonna go with 51 pounds, you cut that in half and that's the real weight that you're lifting with that. Exactly, with the two to one ratio. And we do understand that some people are using these in their homes with families, with little kids, and they wanna be able to use lightweight for the functional trainer. But we also know that if you're trying to max out, like a lat pull down, for example, um, sometimes the, the half of the 220 pounds is not enough. So there's actually band pig holes at the bottom where you can actually wrap a band uh, around the stack and increase your your, uh, yeah, your weight on that. That's a that's a great that's a great option too because adding the variable resistance yep. is very easy and something I'm glad you kept from 2018 to 2019. Exactly. So let's go into the Smith machine here. Tell me some stats uh, or at least differences in the specs that we're looking at here from the 2018 to this 2019 G6. Yeah, absolutely. So there were a few things we really loved about the old G6. Um, especially these linear bearings makes it really low maintenance, really smooth when you're lifting it there. Um, one change we did do is with these hooks on the safety, we added a hole here on both sides where you can actually mount your leg press instead of having to put a pin through the barbell like it was on the older model. Yeah, and I have the old uh, version of leg press and that was yeah. really tough trying to get it off because it would almost lock in and you'd have to 
kind of go back and forth with it. it. Exactly. Now, does this have, mine had sort of the instability from side to side. This feels more stable. Is that it another is. difference? It is, yes, yeah. We, we made it more stable for sure on that end. Um, and just trying to make it a really safe machine with two safety options for the hook here. And actually, you can see this to catch it if you, if you miss a rep for any reason. Yeah, I like um, that too, that. because basically this can be like your safety spotter arm on the inside with the Smith machine. So when I do shrugs or RDLs or rack pulls, I can simulate the spotter arm by using that exactly. and have my range. Uh, what I was saying, the 2018 version was, um, I talked to the Australian, uh, you know, part of Force yeah. USA, the, you know, where the engineers are and stuff like that. They told me that the instability on the 2018 version was actually designed because I yeah. thought it was oh, something yes. that had to tighten. That was yes. a, it wasn't a negative or a con compared no. to the 2019 version. It was designed so you didn't have any it corrected imbalances. Yep, exactly. Not exactly. that this is any better, or it's just something that just people wanted thing. in there. Yep. I got this straight. I, I, yep. By the way, I still have imbalances. <laughs> Good. So here we have the multi-grip pull-up bar here. It's a little bit different because it's higher than the G12. It's higher than the G9. That's why I wanted to get that fancy camera angle looking up at it because yeah. it is the highest one of all. So like you said, if you're taller, this may be the option for you. For sure. The caveat to that is if your ceiling's not high, this, this particular one is going to be touching the ceiling. And when you do a pull-up, your head's gonna go through the ceiling. Exactly, exactly. So between all of our models here, we really try to make a model for every situation. Whether you're in an apartment, in a garage, in a basement, we wanted to make it that possible. So for this one here, yes, it is taller. It's at 91 inches to the top. So the pull-up bar is gonna be about at 87 inches. Um, but we did that because there are taller customers out there who want to be able to get that full range of the pull-up when they go. Now, is this a thicker gauge uh, pull-up bar? It I'm is. looking so at the G9 and it looks a little bit thicker it is. than that. Yep, yep, so the, it is gonna be a little thicker here for your grip on that as well. Nice, and you know, of course you got the grips, nice little touch. Took the knurling out. My G6 had a lot of knurling in it, it which some people prefer, but across the, the entire G series lineup, you have switched to this powder coated style exactly. without the knurling. Exactly, yeah, and we added pads where it really matters, um, you know, for sliding off and but just so people know, the grips are the same. You have your 45 degree chin up, you have your straight up chin up, you have many new, two neutral grips there, and of course the wide. So they got plenty, they had, nothing has changed as far as functionality with the pull-up bar. Exactly, exactly. Still has the suspension trainer as well. Yeah, same weight rating too, yep. across the entire lineup. We want to remind people of that. Exactly. Because that's much, much smaller than the 2018 G6 that I have. Mine was a pretty thick suspension training hookup. Yep. So we're going right here to the back of the Monster G6. You see an exercise chart, 35 plus exercises. Exactly. Right? Yep. 35 right. plus because I stopped counting at 35. <laughs> there, there's tons of them there. Yeah, just nice little reminders and of your movements you can do on these things. I like aesthetically that you have this particular one, and we're going to turn it around because it's on a carousel. Yep. Then you have its own unique one on the G12. Then you have the fiberglass one on the G9. It's kind of cool how they have their own little look, even the orientation. These two on the six and the 12 are vertical, yep. and they have one that's horizontal on the nine. I like how they have their own little identities. Exactly, yeah, trying to fit the space that we, uh, we're working with, but still give the, give the workout sheet to the customers. That's a good segue, that's a good yeah. keyword, because we're gonna talk about <laughs> space. Exactly. I'm gonna turn this sucker around. Yeah. And you guys have four hooks here, and they're heavy duty hooks. They are. So you've improved the hook system uh, on this Monster G6 along the, the entire lineup, as a matter of fact and you have two hooks in the rear. So yep. you have to be careful to, to whatever, if you're close to the wall, you wanna make sure it's probably, there's, there's the big uh, functional bar yep. that's back there. You don't wanna have something that's too thick or wide because it'll get stuck against the wall. But exactly. you have plenty of hooks to work with, plenty of things yep. there. And if that's not enough, there's four more behind it. Oh, I thought there was two, I'm sorry, it's four. Yep, so one on each corner. Oh, so you have, my so there's eight total, me. yeah. Right, thank you. Eight total storage <laughs> hooks for that, yeah. That's the, that's the number I was trying yeah. to think of. <laughs> there you go. But I like the fact that you can just have this here. And Absolutely. then aesthetically, like my, my big thing with storage is, and if you see my home gym tours, it's just attachments and accessories laying yeah. on the floor because I don't want to buy a storage cabinet. I want to have everything there to use. Exactly. But if I'm not using it, it fits back there and for it's sure. not an eyesore. Absolutely. That's yeah, really, yeah. that's a really nice touch right there. 
Yeah, we wanted to make this so the G6 can be as close to the wall as possible, but you're still getting all the uh, accessories that you can after that. In. There, it's straight. Yeah, for, <laughs> you need it straight, yeah, for yeah. sure. It's, yeah, so great machine. Well, this is the 2019 Monster G6. That about does it. Well, no, it doesn't. Damn it. I got the, <laughs> yeah, there's the list. Got the list. Right here, we got the list, because I want you to know everything that comes in the 2019. I want to know because I'm a 2018 yep. Monster G6 yep. owner. Uh, we got the two 221 pound weight stacks. We got the J hooks, the newly designed J hooks. Yep. Uh, we have the spotter safety arms or the safety spotter arms, yep, look at tomato, those. tomato. Multi grip dip handles, that's my favorite. Multi grip chin up bar up there. Leg press attachment is included with it, that's awesome. Yep. Um, guess what we forgot? Oh, the collars. Yeah, they do These come with the same collars. These damn collars, man. We forget the, them all the time. <laughs> they come with the same the collars tool. that the, uh, the other machines. How can come we with forget the well? collars every single time? It's that's such, not even That's such that's, a small, great thing. It can't even be an outtake anymore because we <laughs> always forget them. So yeah. after that, the knee support for lap pull down. So exactly. Attach watch the, the other videos that we've done. If we haven't showed it to this one, you get to see those things, especially we did it on the G9 with the, with the exactly. knee, knee holder or the knee support. Lap pull down bar. Functional training bar to the short one, handles for the cable crossover, oh, which I think tons of them. are a sleeper hit on the G6 yeah. because it's this style. And that's the style I actually prefer. That's old school right there. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's, that's really stirrups. cool. Yeah. These are the handles for the crossover. A shiver bar, tricep push down bar, mm. a core trainer. You're talking about the landmine attachment, uh, which you can remove, by the way. Yep, to keep your width a little less. So that's easy to remove. So you have an option. So if you want a removable landmine attachment, then the G6 might be the option for you because yep. the R ones are fixed. Yep, they are fixed. Yep. Thirty-five plus exercise charge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> plus. Like we stop counting after yeah, thirty-five. Yeah. Uh, suspension trainer right huh? there. Also, you have a stirrup for that. To turn this right back around. I just like spinning this around. This is nice. Yeah, it kind of makes so, it fun, huh? Yeah, it's good storage. Well, I just want to see because it is different. So this is a little yeah. bit different right here. You can do uh, crunches with this. I would do lap pull downs because you can get a little bit of rotation yeah. with that. Also, another thing you can do right here, I'm thinking on the fly. There you go. Is if you wanted to, you can get a little rotation with for your sure. pull up on that. That's just yeah. my little. It'll DIY hold your weight hack. for sure. Yeah, oh, definitely. The weight yeah. rating is on about 1,000 pounds. It is, yep, on all our machines. So there. Uh, I haven't gained that much weight. I've gained a little bit on the road, <laughs> but not that much. You're getting there. And also, that's the abdominal belt as well, right? It is, yep. Okay, cool. Small grip frame, you got the push-up bar, you got a tricep push-down rope, you got the four band pegs, and also you got the weighted plate holders. 45 degrees once again, but exactly. in the, in the, you don't see, you kind of see it, but yep. it's 45 degrees a little different. behind it, but it still stays space. It's not a straightforward one. So exactly. you're able to get around to the back very easily. So exactly. really cool. And of course, uh, we have the collars. We forgot about yeah. those. Uh, you have bar storage. You got barbell storage. Yep. And you have eight storage hooks. Yep. So we went through all that. Let's turn it around. Hide that so it's nice and pretty. Oh, yeah. Very Thank cool. You. 2019 Monster G6. You ready for it? How much is it? Yeah, it's going to be a penny shy of 4000 Cool. So you have a choice here. So you're you talking about uh, with the G9, just under 3200 Yep. This is just under 4000 Yep. Adding and then the weight the G12 stack. is just under 5000 Exactly. Yep. But the point of the whole deal with any of these, and this is what I liked when I got my 2018 version. Yeah. I'm just jealous because there's <laughs> even more attachments. Yeah, a little included. upgrades. Yeah. But you're talking about you know, all these things are included with that. So like you they say, are. Yep. Right out of the box, you're ready to go. You're ready, yep. Assemble it and you got everything you want that, uh, that you could find in the gym. And here's the deal. When you assemble it, you can start working out the same day and not have to wait two or three days like I did. <laughs> That's How's it, yeah. that? It's actually simple. Yeah, assembly's easy and we are always here to help you at Force USA if you have any questions. Very cool. Thanks yeah, so much, absolutely. man. Appreciate it. Guys, check it out, forceusa.com. Uh, and also, you're going to have some specials and promos come up. For sure. Yeah, uh, check sure. it because you know, you don't know if you're going to see this video in 2019 or 2020. So when you go to the website, there might be a promotion that really suits yep. your needs. So check it out and follow them. Yep. Of course, on Instagram, I'll be tagging you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Give us a call if you have any questions. But yeah, we can be found on Instagram. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks. And girls. <laughs> yeah. We want everybody to buy. Everybody. Them. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.